This is where Philip Bennett started having problems with his neighbors. He'd go out onto the deck of his Dartmouth apartment building and vape and smoke his medical marijuana. His neighbors complained about the smell and smoke and pointed out that their building is cannabis free. Bennett thought that rule didn't apply to him because he has a license. Now his landlord is kicking him out. They kicked me out of there. I got no place to go with no place to go. I'll have no income with no income. I'll have no marijuana. They put the wheelchair guy on the side of the road. Congratulations. Bennett suffers from spinocerebellar ataxia, a genetic disorder that robs him of much of his mobility. To get around outside, he has to use a motorized wheelchair. His disorder also causes him a lot of pain, so his doctor prescribed medical marijuana. If the weather's nice, he takes his chair down the road to smoke or vape. But if there's snow or ice on the road, he says it's too dangerous to venture out. His lawyer says her client being forced out of his home is a form of discrimination. The landlord can't dictate to a tenant how he or she can treat a medical disability. And my view is that he should be allowed to take the medical cannabis for his, to treat his condition the way he feels fit. Bennett's landlord did try to accommodate him. He would allow Bennett to use cannabis oil instead of smoking or vaping. But Bennett says that's not good enough. He says oil takes too long to relieve his pain. The landlord, Philip Haddad, refused to do an interview. But his lawyer, Craig Arsenault, did pass along some information. He says Bennett clearly broke the building's rules and there was no medical evidence that Bennett needed to inhale marijuana rather than ingest it. Arsenault says a tenant has moved out because of Bennett's marijuana use and others could move unless Bennett is forced out. For his part, Bennett has been trying to hunt down a new place to live for weeks. So far, he's had no luck. Imagine what it's like now if you're a low income with a wheelchair because the only places that can rent to low income are the buildings that are almost half fallen apart, they haven't been updated and don't have wheelchair accessibility. The courts also backed the landlord, saying that Bennett needs to be out by May 1st. His lawyer is appealing that decision, but she doesn't think much will happen before Bennett has to move out. David Burke, CBC News, Halifax.